I love it. I absolutely love it. It's brilliant. Thank you so much, guys. Very fast fiddling skills there. And I even heard a bit of the Blue Peter theme music. So, uh, nice one. Now, if you would like to find out more about String Fever, do not hesitate to check out the website. And they will be at the Shaw Theatre at the end of this month. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, Ralph, before you go, just tell me, what's the difference between one of these and what I would call a normal violin? Well, apart from the shape, I guess the main differences are this particular type have extra strings, so we can play much lower. Oh, yeah, we've well, got violin, six. Six, six on strings. this one, you can play almost as low as a cello. Yeah. The cello has five, you can play as low as a bass and a cello at the same time. And also, you can put them through guitar pedals so you can get, like, distortion and different other effects. So. That's why you get that great sound. Well, as you know, I play a bit of the violin. I was just wondering whether I could join you for the end theme tune today. Is that, oh, is that tricky. Well, why don't you have a go? Uh, yeah, he he actually watches the show. Love, <laughs> like it. Now, before you take it away, don't forget to tune in tomorrow when we'll be showing you how to make your very own mini snooker table. Yep, and the Flying Angels are in the studio, so don't miss it. But right now, with a very special guest, it's String Fever. Have a go, Geth. <laughs> Thanks, Con. Have a go, Geth. Here we go.